Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we follow a frauder by the name of Truth Be Told who attempts to audit a police station in New Roads, Louisiana. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy this funny little show. What's up, people? We are city of New Roads Police Station number two in New Roads, Louisiana. what it sounds like. Oh, no, I'm good right now. What's your name and badge number? Gonna walk away real quick. Came and shut the gate. Two six three one two seven. No signs, restrictions on the gate. The gate's clearly open. Damn it, were you born in a barn? Close the gate, you're gonna let the frauders in. Oh no, it's too late. Look at this. You got original Humvee back here. Check this thing out, y'all. Did you see she came up and asked me what I, what I was doing and then she shut and locked the gate on me? Like I couldn't come around and come in this gate. Oh, was that a female? It, look, it, look, it kind of looked like a female, but they come and shut the gate, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like I can't walk around, you know. <laughs> look like a female officer, I don't know. It was a dude, he was a small dude. Like super, super small. <laughs> of course, we got Michelle's mobile media. And we also have 17 days audits with us out here today. He's a guy I've been talking to. He does a lot of uh, activism out here in this area. So we definitely wanted to come out and see how they responded to us. Didn't do too bad. Uh, he, she asked if 
I needed any help. I told them I didn't need no help. And they said okay and walked off, but still didn't want to give the name and badge number up, so. Here's my buddy 17 days audits. Walking up on my buddy here, Daniel, with Scoot Sheet Told Audits. Uh, so real quick, Daniel, like, what do you feel about um, that publicly funded areas should be a lot more uh, free of fear to the people. How do you think that's going to happen by you guys being out there and and, and kind of showing it through videography? Right. I mean, I mean, it's to me, it's education. You know, like like clearly, there's no, uh, you know, it's it's a gated, you know, police section right here, but there's clearly no signs on the gate, and uh, you know, the city pays for this police station and this property that we're standing on right here, which gives us the right to be in here and. Uh, the educational part of like what we're doing today is, you know, to make sure, you know, it's because it's gated. There's no signs restricting you from coming in. It's still public property. There has to be some kind of signage saying that you're not allowed in the area. Correct. Uh, I mean, the officer did somewhat real good. You know, uh, we got one coming in on us, but you know, did real super good. And get out of the uh, walkway here. Yeah? Yep. And so basically, what you're saying is, is that because of what we do, we're able to teach. Uh -oh. Right. Of course. Right. Exactly. They train y'all to do that back in like that or what? <laughs> no? What's your name and badge number? Oh, did you hear this? They're, we're being trespassed. There's no signage on the gate saying that there's a restricted area back here. This is public property. Oh yeah, sure. A large fence and gated area means that you can come right on in anytime you feel like it. Oh, come on. I'll just start off with that. How are you doing today? What's your name and badge number? It's Officer Barron, NR14 is my badge number. NR14. All right, that's great. That's great. So, uh, how long you been with the department? You're not going to answer anything? You're just going to sit here and stare at me crazy? What's going on, man? How you doing? What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? We're just taking a look around public property. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. and, and, and we're we're trespassing right now? Oh, we are? Oh, there's signage that says that there's restricted area back here or what? Yeah, because we check signage. Is, 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 there, is there any kind of sign saying that we can't be back here filming our government officials? So you're not going to answer that because you ain't going nowhere with that. Y'all can go ahead and turn around, go back to work. And let us continue filming. But we're, it's not going to happen like that because they already said on the radio that we're being trespassed. Hold them here until we get How there. Are we being but see, this, 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 this is this is this is what we're talking about, people. There is no, there is absolutely no sign saying that we cannot be back here. Today's going to be an education in law. Uh, Corporal, do you have a sergeant? Do you have a sergeant? Do you have a supervisor? No. They said detain us here. Well, we're going to be here until we talk to somebody higher up as well. Because they're going to learn what trespassing really is today. And clearly, people, there's no signs on the gate. Here comes another cruiser in right here. This is supervisor right here. You speak English, right? Oh, we will. Listen, listen to this one right here. Listen to this one right here. Look at this one right here, people. Look at this one right here. 
And he's a corporal, people. They're probably going to try to go hands-on. That's all right, because New Roads is just going to be Daniel's New Roads. I like this one. This, this, this one's straight out of the academy right here. This one right here, I mean, he's probably 25, 24 years old. But we have some older ones right here. How's it going? And we got another corporal. What's your badge number, sir? What's your badge number? See, they're not going to say nothing. So who are we waiting on? What's, what's the next step? Y'all waiting on a supervisor? Y'all waiting on a sergeant or what? Maybe the chief? We get lucky to get to meet the chief today. Oh, we hear sirens. Here we go. And they're just walking around and everything. I like the smile on this one. And here comes another one inside. New roads. Let's see who this is today. Here come the other two. What's his name and badge number? Mm -hmm. What's his name and badge number? Right, look. Corporal Dominant. Corporal. Corporal. Cool. That's Corporal Mejia. And that's Officer Barrett. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, are we waiting on a supervisor then, or what? Somebody higher than y'all, or what? You need us to call a supervisor? Uh, I don't know, because we're being detained from what I heard on the scanner. You said anything about you being detained? On the scanner, I heard Are it. you detained? Uh, no, I'm free to go whenever, whenever, yeah. I was just checking to see, you know, because y'all come out, you know, four deep on a couple of people back here filming inside of a public area. I mean, this is our area. <laughs> right, but, but, but y'all have got to put up signs saying that this is a restricted area. See, that's going to be the difference in this whole entire situation right here. Yeah, well, you're telling me something about the area where we be at. This is our area. Well, this isn't really y'all's area. This, 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 this is this our, where we be at. This is our area. And this the, is the, our the, the, the city pays for this, you know what I mean? The, yeah, us us people too. pay for this, you know what I mean? So... And that is still a limited access area simply because that those things are quite valuable and can be stolen at any given time. Therefore, you have to keep the gate locked. And because of a dickhead like you, they're going to have to put a sign there now to ensure that nobody else tries to pull that same thing. So you've been very helpful in pointing out a security flaw. Now move along. What does sign say? It says City of New Roads. And it says what on the bottom of it? And it says police. All right. All right. So which it makes it, which makes it, yeah, right, which makes it. So that's why I'm here. Right, but we, you know, we, we, you know, we help pay y'all. Uh, this is, this is all of our property and stuff like that. But to come out, you know, four deep just to save basically what you just did, you could have did all by yourself without all this extra money sitting right here. Does that make sense? Oh, oh, the, the truth is, I know it's crazy and. Yep. So we got all these people out here being detained. They're saying, hold us here because we're being trespassed. But yet, all of a sudden, we're not trespassed anymore. But there's clearly no signs on the gate. If y'all put signs up, you know, you can stop people from coming back here. You know, restricted area, police only. Then we can't cross that barrier. But until then, it's still city property until it's deemed that it's restricted. But it's been proven in the past that idiots like you will just ignore the signs and can keep on going and still get arrested over it. So, we got four officers out here. That's what we call intimidation tactic. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Y'all get it for free. I mean, there's no reason for... Or Actually, we pay for it. But the question is, how many people have you given a ticket over inspired inspection stickers? I haven't given any. Oh, you haven't given any? Not from inspection stickers. Not from inspection stickers? That's awesome. Yeah. Well, have to follow laws, right? 17 days out, it's giving them education back over here, too. And again, dark, dark windows, we found out in Louisiana, they can run dark as 10 as they want. They are exempt, people. They are exempt here in the state of Louisiana. That don't help them out right now. It doesn't, but it also, let's, let's try to bridge the gap here, right? Right. Well, it's how they approach this and how they came up hostile is what I don't like. I, I agree with that. So would you agree with that? We're very nice people. We're not here, and I understand what y'all have gone through again. But when we're here to bridge it, they got somebody in the back of this car, people. As a public servant, like as somebody who's equipped, I mean, you guys each got a gun, and, a, and, a, and we're here with nothing but a camera, you know? And we actually support the officers that are going to uphold these things. So. Right. But we also get what we give, you know. If we if we if we get disrespect, we're going to give some disrespect. Cause this one right here didn't do so bad. They should have left it alone whenever I said, you know, I was fine and didn't need no help. Cause I still don't need no help. So. And of course, they're probably going to try to follow us, people, and that's going to be no doubt. But all you know, we went from being trespassed to not being trespassed. This is so. a restricted area. Whether there's a sign or not, you're being informed now. Could you please step out your it, Okay, now see, here's where law steps in on that. There was no signs. You can't just come make law up because there was nothing established when we got here. Can you please step out of the restricted area, sir? That's where I'm going to have to go against you. Can you please, you please change your Can you please step on the other side? Here we go, people. There is no signage. That is y'all kicking us off the property when there's no signage. Listen, we're informing you now. There's, this is a restricted area. It's supposed to lease back in this area right here, okay? So can you please come on this side over here? All right. There was no signage out here when we got here. I so I'm that. already on property. I understand that. So if, so if you try to kick me off, it would be a trespass. That means you need to get a detective out here to make sure that I haven't done anything out here to make me have to leave. We can... So, do you have a detective? There's no signs on this gate at all, and now they're trying to say that we are being trespassed again, saying that we're not allowed to be in this area again, which is completely untrue. They're making up laws on the fly. Look here. Y'all, welcome to videotape on the other side of this gate, okay? And if you need to, you want to talk to somebody higher, everybody will be back in Tuesday, okay? Is there a way, sir, that I could uh, all right. have the director email me? Yeah, so first of all, what's your name? I don't like to give my name. You don't like to give your name? I don't like to give my name. That's really funny. Yeah. Can I have your name? You didn't give me your name. I did. No, you absolutely didn't. I did. I introduced her. Yeah, but you didn't introduce yourself to her. And because there's no signage on the gate, you can't kick us out. And I, I, I believe, I, I believe, I believe the best reaction for y'all to do. But it's not a restricted area. There's no signage on the gate saying that it's restricted in here. I need y'all for what I'm telling you right now. I'm asking y'all one more time. Okay, okay, you can ask. Please. Okay, so so okay, so the so the next question that we're gonna so the next question I'm gonna ask so the next question I'm gonna ask and I just need a yes or no. Okay, I want to get this on camera. If we don't leave from back here, will we be arrested? 
I'm asking y'all to do. Okay, you can ask for us to leave. You can ask for us to leave. You can ask for us to leave. But but the, but the next question is, what happens to us if we decide to not to leave this property? Okay, and I want to know what happens if we decide not to leave this property. Will I be arrested? Will I will I be arrested? And I can finish recording right here because I'm filming my government officials right now. I just need you to say yes or no on that. I just need to say yes or no. I needed you to answer my question too. You didn't. I don't have to answer your question. See, you're the public servant here. You got to answer our questions because we're here asking questions apparently that you're not wanting to answer for us. Will I be arrested if I decide to not leave from back here? And of course, we're not going to get an answer. But we're not going to be kicked off a of property either. Just from y'all saying, you know, just because y'all make up laws on the fly doesn't mean that we have to listen. And we were just trying to make it clear on the signs, make it clear on how law works, you know, even when you're in the confine of the fence. So in other words, like if you were to tell me, sir, uh, I'm going to arrest you if you don't leave. See, I'm going to leave. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was asking him. And we're going to be arrested if we don't leave from and back this area. it's not about me testing you. It's about me walking on the Constitution. That's all. Right. That's all. And, and that's what we appreciate. You know, and we don't not appreciate the job. We do appreciate the job. Uh, but this is also educational as far as y'all, you know, we have to we have to be able to educate y'all too because the, the, the law the law clearly says that we're allowed to be back here. Clearly says that we're allowed to be back here. You can't just come up and say, Okay, now we want you to leave because that's kicking us off of public property that we were allowed to be on. This is a public area until there are signs restrictions saying that so you gotta learn the law. You're right that the signage is there. If the signage is there. I am not informing you that this is Okay. So lawfully now, you know this is not a public area. But okay, there's no so signage. If he leaves, if he does not leave this area right here, will he be arrested? That's a yes or no. Are you refusing to leave the area? No, I, I would like my answer, my question answered first, and then I would be glad to do whatever you think that you think that the law is. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to follow my lawful command. Which is not a lawful command. Of leaving the area. I've already instructed you that this is not. There's no signs area. restricting this area. You've got to learn that. You can't create law as you go on the fly. So the question, okay, now the answer is yours. Will I be arrested if I don't leave from back here? We keep going in a circle on this. Will I be arrested if I decide not to leave from no, this back just area? Just answer the question. Are you to leave? I don't answer questions. Are you Tain. breaking the law? Detain. I'm not breaking the law. Detain. Okay, people, here we go. <laughs> Y'all are gonna go viral. I do not consent to any searches or seizures of my person. Uh, yeah. Well, there should have been a sign on the gate to allow for even the most incompetent morons like this guy to understand that there are certain areas that you can't go into. But even if they do put up a sign, it won't stop morons like him from giving it a shot.